After checking our seat meter, I would like to go one more step to the bottom to our gauge wheels and seat disc. First, I would like to remove our gauge wheel and the gauge wheel arm, in this case by loosening that bolt in here. For all the temple models, we have a pin in front of the arm, which you easily can remove with a plier. Here you need a 22 mm nut to loose this bolt. We can take off the bolt. And now we can also take off the arm and the axle of the arm. Taking a look at the gauge over here, we have our rubber which touches the seat disc to clean it. We should take a look if the rubber is worn out in here and we may have to replace the rubber. We can replace only the rubber by loosening all the screws here off the rim and placing any rubber. Now we see our seat disc and the scraper. We can check if the scraper is worn down, so we have to remove and replace it. Now I will only remove it so I can get to the seat disc. For the seat disc we have to check the wear out. We can measure the diameter of the disc if it's worn down or we can use a business card test to see how close the seat disc come together in the front. I will take now two business cards of my pocket. I will take one from the bottom side until it gets stuck. And I will take one from the upper side until it gets stuck. We should have around two up to five centimeter between the business cards where the seat disc touch together. Here we see that's a new machine it looks fine. In case we have less than two centimeter touching the disc together, we can remove at first the cover here. Loosening the nut, here we have to take care, we have left and right side thread. In this case we have left side thread, so the nut will always turn fast in turning direction of the seat disc. We also see a little arrow here on that nut, because here we have left thread, so we always see the arrow turning in that direction, we have to fasten the nut. We need a 24 millimeter, in this case, to lose it. Take off the nut and now we can take off the complete seat disc. So, behind the seat disc we see one big washer and three small millimeter washers. If we have the case that the seat disc are not touching more than two centimeters in the front, we can may remove one of these washers only to put two in here, put the big washer back again, put also the seat disc back again, I will not do it now, and then it's really important to put that washer in front of the bearing of the seat disc. When having the seat disc off, we can also take a look at our seat tube and seat calder here. For the seat calder, it's important that it can move to the left right side, so it's always centered between both seat disc. We see here our wear plates. They should protect actually the seat tube before wear if the discs are turning. If those are fine. And we should check the seat tube if we see any visible damages on that one. And if you take off the glove, you can put your finger in here and you should check if there's a little nub or a little hole inside here. 
that might be happened if the seat discs are worn out too much in diameter, that that one is touching the ground and we get a little corner and seats are not going to the stop wheel, they are moving out of the furrow and be on the wrong placement. In this case you have to replace the seat calder. Now I will also take a look at our stop wheel. First of all, move it so we check uh, the bearing and see if you have any visible damages on the stop wheel. For three-point mounted machines it's important to remove that bolt and loosen that bolt on storage season so we do not get a flat tire standing all over the storage season on that wheel. Now I would like to place the seat disc again. First of all we have to check our small millimeter washers. We have now two, in this case we need three behind the bearing because we have a brand new disc. The big washer. We also can check here the axle if we see some wear out on the axle. If we see we are on the axle, we can easily remove the axle. You see here a thread inside the arm and replace it with a new one. We recommend if we put in a new seat disc to put some grease on the axle. Due to the fact that it's easier to remove the seat disc sometime again if you have to replace it. Now we take the seat disc. The nut, like before mentioned, keep in mind left and right thread. So always fasten in turning direction of the seat disc and tighten the nut. Put on the cover and replace the scraper. Like mentioned before, check the scraper if it worn out. So if you cannot see this angle in here, you should replace the complete scraper on both sides. Now we have our gauge wheel arm. Here we have the axle. And inside the arm we have two ceilings, left and right side, and two plastic bushings inside. We can check the ceilings and the bushing. And before Mounted, we should put some grease here on the axle and inside the bushings. Put the axle in again. and place it here and screw it with the bolt. If we take now a look at the gauge wheel, we have the possibility by loosening that screw to adjust the distance between the gauge wheel and the seat disc. If we turn the gauge wheel, the seat disc, like in that case, should also move sometimes a bit, so we know that the rubber of the wheel is close enough to the seat disc. Here with the long hole, we should check if all gauge wheels are in the same position, so we always reach the same seating depths. And if we have the scraper on the gauge wheel, we can check the position from the scraper to the gauge wheel and adjust with that two bolts in here. Now I would like to talk about worn out parts again, so we know when we have to replace them. Starting with the seat calder, here we only have a new one. Take care about the plates here on the side and about the tube if it has any damages or the outlet here if it's worn out due to too small seat disc. The axle of 
the CTIS, you see here now also the thread, you can replace that. Here we see the ceilings and bushings of the gorge rear arm and also we have them in our parallel linkage of the row unit. Two ceilings and the bushings. Here we nearly see the same, in a little bit smaller ceilings. Those are the ceilings and bushings from the closing wheel arm. And also the axle which is inside. Sometimes if you see a long hole in here, it might be that the closing wheels are not straight to the seat for her, so that is worn out and you have to replace it. The scraper, here we see our new version of scraper. You see the arm and the scraper are one part, a heavy duty part, compared to here a worn out scraper, the old version. You see if that angle here is gone, you have to replace them. Same here if that angle has gone. At least our seat disc, we can take the measurements. A new disc has 380 millimeter. The old disc gets smaller and we should replace them. It is less than 365 millimeter. I guess you see here easily the difference if we put them towards each other.